Stan Jabalisco here <clears throat> with a continuation of our little video tutorial sequence or video experiment sequence having to do with the Radio Shack TRMS digital multimeter and some various experiments involving the voltage drops across semiconductor diodes. What I have here is a 6 volt battery, roughly 6 volts about 6.3 volts the last time I measured it. Well, let's just go ahead and, and uh, measure that. If I can get in there and do that, 6.28 volts. Three silicon rectifiers, a jumper, then a 3300 ohm resistor leading to the battery so we get voltage drops across these diodes. Current going through them 561 millivolts, 555 millivolts, 559 millivolts. Now I became curious. What would happen if I connect two diodes in parallel for one of these uh, rectifiers? in the same direction so that they both conduct. What will happen to the voltage drop across, <laughs> across these two diodes now in parallel? Let's compare the first one again, 560 millivolts. Now this was about 555 or thereabouts before. It's dropped to 516 millivolts. Now I had no clue before I started this experiment in this video. I had no idea what was going to happen here. I really didn't. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Here's just one diode, 559 millivolts. So you, it doesn't cut it in half uh, as you might expect, but it just it does drop it some. And I find that fascinating. I find that very, very interesting indeed. 519, 518 millivolts. Well, I happen to have another one of these. Now, I honestly, I have never tried this, uh, and I, now my, uh, my theory here, see this is the, um, the breadboard with nails in it, the wooden breadboard with nails in it. People have made fun of me for this. But it's pretty easy to use, you know, pretty easy to put stuff on and take stuff off. And with big, fat, meaty fingers like mine, well, it's easier for guys like me, old fuddy-duddies, to use. Let's try this again. 561. Now, we had 518 last time, right? 500. So it's dropped a little more. We've got three diodes in parallel here, just one here. So I find that very interesting. I don't know what particular practical purpose it serves, but here's the rub. One experimentalist can keep a dozen theorists busy. And the idea is sometimes you just want to do experiments to see what'll happen. You don't know whether there will ever be any practical application for this, except of course that three diodes in parallel will be able to conduct three times as much current before they burn out as just one. These happen to be 1.5 amperes at 1500 volts. If these three diodes here would conduct 1.5 up to 4.5 amperes, presumably. Whereas these would only handle 1.5 still because they're just individual diodes. That's maybe, you know, the practical application of putting diodes in parallel. But it's, I find it fascinating what happens to the voltage drop there. Really interesting. Now, my theory is if I kept adding diodes, you know, until I had 10, 20, 40, 100 of them in parallel, that the voltage drop across the combination would decrease according to a logarithmic decrement approaching some final minimum, say maybe three or three and a point uh, 350 millivolts something like that but I don't know 
and I'm not going to try that here. These nails are only about three quarters of an inch high. They're not a, a foot high. I can't stack them up like that. But I find this just fascinating. And uh, it's a little more excuse to play with this new toy. Look how that voltage fluctuates at random like that when the leads are free. Isn't that weird? Of course, if you short them out, the, it stops. But I mean, does the atmosphere really have that kind of voltage hanging around in it? You tell me. <laughs> Stan Jabalisco signing off from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Until next time, so long.